Hello, welcome to my channel Basic Simplified. MicroStrategy is a business intelligence reporting tool that is highly capable of generating reports and dashboards that are insightful and easy to understand. In this topic, we are going to discuss about the MicroStrategy architecture and the different tiers involved. Before we discuss MicroStrategy architecture, it is very important to understand where MicroStrategy stands in a BI architecture. Let's try to understand a simplified version of BI architecture. To understand the BI architecture better, let's take banking business as an example. A banking business offers several services like business accounts, personal accounts, loans and credit cards. Typically, a bank will use several systems in order to offer these services. These systems constantly undergo real-time updates and so these systems are termed as online transaction processing systems, in short OLTP systems. The bank collects the data from these services in the form of files, databases and other systems. These systems are referred as source systems. Because of the real-time updates that happen very frequently, these systems typically do not capture data history and data collected from these source systems are not uniform. With OLTP source systems, it is very difficult for a business to make informed decisions or to provide business users with meaningful reports. To overcome the limitations of OLTP systems, the OLAP system comes into picture, Online Analytical Processing System. Data Warehouse is an OLAP system. The data captured in the data warehouse is uniform unlike OLTP systems. The required history for reporting purposes is also preserved in the data warehouse. The data from these different source systems are extracted, transformed into desired format and loaded into the data warehouse using ETL process, extract, transform and load process. Reporting tools like MicroStrategy uses data from the data warehouse and provides business users with insightful information in the form of easy to understand reports and dashboards. Before we dive deep into the architecture of MicroStrategy, it is really important to familiarize ourselves with some of the terminologies used in this session. Metadata. So what is a metadata? Metadata is a central repository for all MicroStrategy object definitions. Attributes, metrics, facts, reports, prompts, anything that's created in MicroStrategy is termed as an object. These object definitions are stored in proprietary format within a database. A metadata also facilitates the retrieval of data from the data warehouse. For example, when you create an attribute called state, the definition for this attribute and table mapping details are stored in the metadata. When a user requests for a report with state information, the MicroStrategy engine will look into the metadata repository for the object definition and table details to pull this information from the data warehouse. Warehouse. Warehouse is nothing but the data warehouse. Data warehouse is typically an online analytical processing system where all the data for reporting and analytics is stored. MicroStrategy developer is one of the components of MicroStrategy. It is a Windows-based interface that provides the functionality to create both schema and public objects. MicroStrategy Developer enables you to model applications using a user-friendly graphical interface. Intelligence Server, also known as the iServer, is the heart of MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy Intelligence Server is an analytical server optimized for enterprise querying, reporting, and data analysis. MicroStrategy uses a web server to enable MicroStrategy web functionality. The web server in this case can be Apache Tomcat, Microsoft Internet Information Services, or any web server. MicroStrategy web provides users with a highly interactive and low maintenance interface for reporting and analysis. Using the web interface, users can access and analyze data through any web browser on many operating systems. MicroStrategy web provides ad hoc querying, data analysis and enable sharing data, making it easy for users to make informed business decisions. Now that we have familiarized ourselves with some of the terminologies used, let's move on to the MicroStrategy architecture. A MicroStrategy architecture is built around two-tier, three-tier and four-tier connections. In a two-tier architecture, there are two tiers. In a three-tier architecture, there are three tiers. And in a four-tier architecture, there are four tiers. Let's discuss about these tiers in detail. As we already discussed, two-tier architecture consists of two tiers. The first tier consists of two databases, 
the data warehouse, which contains the information that users analyze, and the metadata that contains information about MicroStrategy objects. The second tier includes the MicroStrategy Developer Client component. The connection between MicroStrategy Developer and the database layer is ODBC DSN connection. This type of connection is also called as direct connection because the MicroStrategy Developer Client component connects directly to metadata and warehouse without any type of server. Two-tier mode is typically not used in production systems. MicroStrategy does not recommend using two-tier architecture in production systems. This is because an iServer responsible for managing security and scalability of projects is not involved in two-tier mode. Two-tier mode can be used to create prototypes or troubleshoot reports using direct connection when there is an issue with iServer. In a three-tier architecture, there are three tiers. When an iServer is introduced into a two-tier architecture, it becomes a three-tier architecture. In this mode, MicroStrategy Developer connects to metadata and Veros through the iServer. The connection between iServer and the database layer is ODBC DSN connection and the connection between MicroStrategy Developer and iServer is TCP IP. Here in this mode, the connection to databases, project security and metadata integrity are all managed by the iServer. In a four-tier architecture, there are four tiers. When a web server is introduced into a three-tier architecture, it becomes a four-tier architecture. In this mode, MicroStrategy Developer, Web Server, Metadata, Warehouse are all connected to the iServer. iServer serves as a central point and connects to MicroStrategy Developer and Web Server using TCP IP. The database layer connects to the iServer via ODBC DSN connection. This fully featured server architecture is the backbone of any MicroStrategy implementation. iServer is called the heart of MicroStrategy because it manages the connection to client components, web server, and the database layer. Thanks for watching.